Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. As you guys know, I am in gorgeous Whitefish, Montana for my best friend Alex's bachelorette party, which I'm hosting. So I thought, why not make a video out of this moment? I am throwing the most epic dinner party. So I'm gonna teach you everything from settings to flowers to design. Honestly, just how to put together a perfect dinner party. So before we get started, make sure to give this video a big like and make sure you subscribe and have my notification bell on. And let's get into the video. So, <laughs> I don't think really anybody knows, but I've actually been best friends with her since I was four years old, I believe, four or five. And I am her man of honor at her wedding in October. So it was really important that I make this weekend super, super special. We booked this spot a year ago here in Montana. It's my favorite place. Alex loves Montana. But unfortunately due to COVID, so many of the girls canceled. So it was really only me, her, and two other girls. We have all been quarantined. So this was a super safe situation going on here. I actually drove here all the way from Los Angeles. But I really wanted to have just a spectacular dinner party here at the lake. We're at this lakefront property on Whitefish Lake. It's absolutely beautiful. Whitefish is one of my favorite places. So I have enlisted the help of my friend Kara. She owns a gorgeous floral shop and an event coordinating company in Montana called Mums Flowers right here on East 2nd Street in Whitefish. And her taste level and mine are exactly the same. She has the cutest store and I'm obsessed with it. She has candles, clothing, cards. She has, of course, beautiful flowers. Honestly, anything from body care to accessories and jewelry and everything in between and she is just goals. So make sure you go over and check out her Instagram and especially if you guys are in town, please go to her. It's really important to support local, especially when you're traveling. So that's what we're doing. A lot of the flowers are actually from local flower fields and a lot of them are my friend Alex's favorites like dahlias, a lot of antique roses. The colors of the wedding are peaches, light pinks, mauve tones, dusty rose, that type of thing, like really organic, really natural looking. So that's what I kind of wanted to do. I want to incorporate those colors in the floral scheme for the dinner table. And then we have an amazing local caterer who's using local fish and local vegetables. So we will also check that out in the video. All right, let's get started. So this is the space right here. We have this beautiful dining table overlooking the lake. We have this little sitting area over here, which is so cute, but this isn't really fitting the aesthetic that I was going for. I'm going for more of a bohemian, chic, understated kind of vibe. Super trendy, super me, super Alex, and just like really cute and comfortable and cozy, which is really easy to do with honestly just a bunch of throws candles, poofs, beautiful plates. And that is all courtesy of my friend Kara at Mom's Flowers. She is on her way right now. So before we get into everything, I'm gonna clear off this area, move some furniture around and just dust everything off so it's all clean and clear. All right, my friend Kara is here. Say hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> all right, first thing we're doing, we are taking out the tablescape and all the things that we're not using and we're gonna layer the floor with um, some rugs just to give it a little dimension, a little color. And the rugs that um, Kara has and that we chose together is peaches, pinks, what other colors? Creams, Mustard. mustards. It's kind of like the whole theme of everything and it will bring everything together with the flowers and the tablescape and everything. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so this is the tablescape that we chose. Um, really neutrals and like pinks, dusty rose. Um, where, where is everything from? Everything is from my shop. It's from Mums, except for this beautiful flower. Yes, these are from West Elm. Really expensive and actually uh, they're really bad quality because they're all plated in gold. So I do not recommend getting them from there. Um, but I love gold silverware because it just like warms everything up. Silver is really cold for me. Um, so yeah, that's why we went with that. And then these really cute plates have like little wildflowers and fit the theme that we're going for. Um, the cups are just like kind of standard glass cups with these, what are these called? Basket weave, which okay. again, it just yeah. makes it feel more casual. Yeah, and kind of like more comfortable. And hold. with the lake setting, I feel like it's just the right vibe for today. Yeah, doing. okay, so let's set this little mock table scape up. Yeah, I like those kind of curving in. Okay. And then we have two different tones for the napkin. Really pretty. And this beautiful leather napkin ring with the brass to kind of yeah, kind of pulls in with the, the flatware. Beautiful. We'll okay. have to mess with that some more, but yeah. that'll be kind of the finished look. That's the vibe. All 
All right, so this is the vibe and the color palette for the florals. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what we have going on in here? Yeah, so we just wanted it to be really whimsical with lots of locally grown. We have lots of like locally grown straw flower and dahlias, cosmos, um, this beautiful blackberry. We wanted it to feel really Montana, but still kind of bohemian and, and light summer feel. Yeah, and these are all the colors that are going on in her wedding, and I really want to get her excited about that. And the vessels that they're in, they're all just different ceramics, different um, just tones and textures just to like mix it up. And I don't really like anything that's too like... Matchy. Matchy, matchy. I think it's really on trend to just keep things a little different and a little weird, fun. Okay, so if you're having trouble getting your taper candle to stick into your candle holder, say you have something like this and it's not secure, so these are hand dip tapers which are so beautiful, but they're not all the same dimension. So you can either shave them down to fit them into here, or if they're too loose, you can also use one of these adhesive um, buttons and it's just a piece of wax that you stick on the bottom of here and that keeps them in place so that they're not wobbling around. Tipping over in the middle yeah. of dinner and catching someone yeah. on fire. Or if you're like me, um, you can take a lighter <laughs> and melt, uh, it. melt it into the bottom of it and then stick this in there for a quick second and uh, kind of the same thing. <laughs> you can't find these, yeah, but that's very we're gonna great. go with these because we're being grown-ups <laughs> and adults now. <laughs> All right, so I have my zebra scissors and these are the taper candles. Um, they're like a marigold. Pumpkin, pumpkin spice, we're getting closer to that season. So you're just gonna to wanna to snip these pretty close. What do you think there? Mm -hmm. There we go. Oops, glittering. And then just pop them in. These ones fit pretty well in here without um, needing to be shaved down. These ones don't, but it's fine. We'll just. Look at those muscles. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> All right, now we can place them on the table. All right, I'm obsessed with the fuzzy throw. You can pop them on any chair, a couch. We put it over there on a bench. It just makes any like dingy-esque, not that these are dingy, but it just makes any chair look elevated and more expensive. So we're popping these on here, giving it like a more comfortable vibe. We also have one on this chair over here. Just place them here and they're really comfortable to sit in as well. It gives you like a little extra cushion. Hey Dan, you remember what happened last time you were climbing on something? Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this time I'll be falling off a balcony. Okay, so for lanterns, they just really warm up a space. You guys know I have them everywhere in my house. You can pop these anywhere for a little added extra warmth and ambiance. Um, so I'm just gonna pop these around the table just to like make it feel really inviting. Okay, pompous are all the rage right now. Tell us, this is the pompous queen. So she's gonna tell us a little more about. So pompous is finally in season right now, which is very exciting as a florist because you're getting the real deal. Instead of dried preserves that's really stiff and breaks, it has lots of movement, as you can see. <coughs> oh my gosh. It's just in my lungs now. When it comes in, it's gonna be really tight like this. And then if you leave it out of water, that's the secret. Don't put it in a vase of water, just leave it dry. It's gonna fluff out and give you this really beautiful, fluffy fullness. Yes, and I actually wanted these, but I couldn't find them in any stores and, or how to like, didn't know where to order them from. So I was driving Coldwater Canyon in Beverly Hills. And there's this really massive house there and it had all these pompous, so I just went and snipped a bunch. So you can also do that, unless you want, well, if you want to get arrested. We call that roadside idea. Yeah, just a little clip. Clip and snip. All right, so everything is looking stunning. Um, the table looks absolutely beautiful. Everything is pulled together. What are your final thoughts? 
I'm just loving this golden hour of light mm -hmm. with the color just like pulling in the peach yeah. and the gold tones. I think it's yeah. so beautiful. It's beautiful. She's gonna freak out. I'm so excited. She's on her way. Thank you so much, Kara. This was amazing. We're gonna go have uh, body shots at the bar and then we're gonna go swim across the lake to the lodge um, because I'm really hot right now. It's so hot. Yeah. So let's go have a drink and we'll see you in a little bit. Cheers to the girls and uh, Alex and her future man and, so romantic. <laughs> and her ex-husband, me, for putting this together. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's going to be a perfect wedding. And we love you so much. Cheers. Swap your nose like a credit card. guys well that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed and i hope you learned a little something throw your own little party at home you can honestly do whatever you want it'll turn out beautiful as long as you're with good friends have good food and you're spending time together all right i'll see you in the next video cheers